Welcome to Tower International Clinton Township. The preservation of health, safety, and environment is a deeply embedded value here at Tower and is woven into all aspects of our business. We value human life above all else and believe that all workplace injuries and illnesses are preventable. As a part of our ongoing safety training program, this video will familiarize Tower employees with our cardinal rules of safety. Cell phone zones. Cell phone use is prohibited on the plant floor while operating any equipment. Cell phone use is permitted with supervisor authorization in designated areas throughout the plant called phone zones if requested. Confined spaces. Permits are required for all confined spaces. Only employees who have required training, permits, and safety equipment are allowed to enter confined spaces. Crane safety. Only colleagues who have received authorized training and valid permits may operate cranes. Hard hats must be worn to protect the head while operating a crane. Walking under elevated loads is strictly prohibited. Daily inspections of cranes are performed prior to use. Any defects should be reported to your supervisor immediately. Dock safety. For loading and unloading of trailers, dock restraints must be applied and two wheels chalked. Pedestrians, tuggers, and stand-up lift trucks are prohibited from entering the dock areas. All colleagues authorized to enter or work in the dock areas must wear a high visibility vest or apparel. Electrical work live. All employees must wear proper PPE or utilize insulated tools while working on exposed live electrical circuits greater than 50 volts. Emergency Response Plan. If an evacuation of an area or plant is required, all employees must report to the designated refuge areas listed on the emergency maps and remain in refuge areas for head counts. Do not sit in your vehicle or leave the property unless instructed to do so. During severe weather, you must take cover in designated areas inside the facility listed on the emergency map and remain for headcount. In the case of a medical emergency, notify the nearest member of supervision. First responders must be called immediately by radio to the location of the incident. Equipment Lockout Equipment and controlling hazardous energy must be properly locked out while working in, on, or around machinery or equipment. Refer to Tower Lockout Tagout Policy and or the Tower Lockout Tagout ASAP Alternative Safe Access Procedure Policy. Lockout also includes die safety blocks while working in press areas. Fall Protection. All employees are required to use the proper fall protection equipment as required by Tower's Fall Protection Program. Fire Safety Emergency exits and fire extinguishers must be kept clear and unobstructed at all times. Discharged fire extinguishers must be taken to the tool crib and exchanged for a charged extinguisher to be placed back in its position. Hot work permits must be employed when performing cutting, welding, and brazing outside of permitted areas. Forklift, tugger, power floor sweeper. Only colleagues who had authorized training and received their valid permit may operate powered industrial equipment. Daily inspections must be performed prior to use and any defects reported to your supervisor immediately. Seat belts must be worn when operating forklifts. Tugger operators are prohibited from driving with objects in the operating compartment. Guarding machines. Guarding is set up throughout the plant to allow for safe operation of machinery or processes. Protective devices are designed to protect colleagues' safety. Hazard Communication, GHS, Global Harmonized Systems. Material safety data sheets are kept in the tool crib for all colleagues to access. Proper PPE must be worn to specifically handle various chemicals in the plant. Anytime a chemical is transferred into spray bottles or other containers, 
an HMIS label must be applied to that container prior to use. Incident near misreporting. When an injury or incident occurs that caused property damage, it must be reported to a supervisor immediately. Any situation that has the potential to cause physical harm or property damage must be reported on a near miss form and submitted to your supervisor before the end of your shift. PPE hearing conservation. Personal protection equipment is required in our facility and all but shoes are distributed at our tool crib on an exchange basis. Standard PPE consists of safety glasses, earplugs, cut-resistant sleeves, cut-resistant gloves, and safety shoes. Additional PPE will be required for specific activities such as welding or grinding. Hearing protection must be worn on the plant floor. Note, earpieces as part of an entertainment device are not allowed. Pedestrian walkway. Pedestrians must stay in designated walkways when traveling through the plant. Do not cut corners or walk in the aisle where powered industrial vehicles operate. Before crossing any intersections or blind spots, you must stop and look in all directions to ensure it is clear to cross. Don't assume vehicle operators have seen you and will stop. Smoking. Smoking is prohibited on our facility. There are no exceptions. Smoking is allowed outside the building in designated areas away from doorways and flammable materials. Do not litter the property with cigarette butts and dispose of them properly. Bloodborne pathogens. Bloodborne pathogens are infectious microorganisms in blood that can cause disease in humans. These pathogens include, but are not limited to, hepatitis B, HPV, hepatitis C, HCV, and human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. Our first responders have been trained and certified in bloodborne pathogen precautions and proper cleanup of bodily fluids. All other colleagues should avoid contact with blood or other bodily fluids and immediately contact first responders if detected. By regularly reviewing and following these safety procedures at the Tower International Clinton Township facility, the preservation of health, safety, and environment will continue to be a deeply embedded value woven into all aspects of our business. If you have any questions about this video, please contact your supervisor.